Okay. The smooth sounds, wine, the tastiness, the flavor. Where do you see this on Google Plus? Mmm. Savor the moment. Say how conversations the odds is. I said that. Live from New York, here in Queens, the lovely Astoria. <laughs> Probably gardens, but not really. <laughs> it's Hangout Conversations with Matt Rappaport. Ah, there I am. Except I'm freezing. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Hangout Conversations. I am Matt Rappaport. And as you can see, that's not a dental hygienist. That's Lee Allison. He's a chef. He's awesome. He'll be my guest tonight. Let me get a little... Do you have... Absolutely. To Here's to uh, G Plus and Hangout Conversations. Mm. It's a fruity little um, Sauvignon Blanc. Very good. Ooh, that's, that's kind of like my ex-girlfriend's. So. Kind of like either one of my ex-wives. Yeah. I've got lots yeah. of them. Stashing them away like squirrels stash away nuts for winter. So, anyway. That sounds good. Well, No, not really. Thanks for being here. Well, sounds good in the sounds good quote, quotation marks. Welcome to Hangout Conversations. I am Matt Rappaport, Lee Allison. This is a beautiful May night. Uh, uh, maybe we'll turn the camera around eventually and show you how beautiful it is outside. There's a... Uh, it's a gorgeous, it's gorgeous seven. evening. What is it, like uh, mid-60s or seven. something? Almost 70 yeah. during the day. Really? Wow. Well, yeah, so by now we're down into the mid-60s, so there, I'm right. You are always right. Uh, there we go. I don't argue with, right. with the cook. We're here at Lee Austin's humble kitchen in abode. And, and in uh, beautiful Queens, New York, Astoria, actually. So uh, it's a little bitty kitchen, which is why Matthew is over there. Yeah, and I'm over really here to do this slaving for everybody's enjoyment. Uh, but that's all right. We're having a good awesome. time. Yeah, so no, thanks for everyone for tuning in. Uh, we actually had a great show last week. We had Lee, uh, sh not Lee, your Lee, but sh uh, Chichu and David Bennett, Hangout Engineer Team, which is really cool. That's up for you to check out on youtube.com backslash Hangout Conversations. And there's not a lot of new stuff happening on Google+. Plus. I usually don't have my guests here, but are there, I don't know if there are any new features or anything that's new that's I, don't, I haven't Hangout. heard of any releases lately. I know um, there's an app. There are a lot of Hangout apps. There's a live meme app, which maybe I'll play with later in the, in the show which I had joking around, like, uh, one does not simply hang out with Matt Rappaport. Mm, nice. I know what he's doing, yeah, nice. which, is, nice. which is a meme. meme you know, the game. only thing of, of note as far as tech goes um, is I recently, do you, when you post to your G Plus stream, do you post to your Facebook separately, or do you have uh, an extension or an app that does it all at once for you? Well, Mohammed Mansur has the uh, G Plus extended share, which I use, which you can click on, you could add, you could go to Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. Blogger. Interesting. So I'll have to check one. that one out. I came across one called social ba, socialba.com. Okay. Sounds and familiar. It's it's very, very nice one. Um, I've just started playing around with it. If anybody has any other suggestions, send them to me because I'm, I don't want to have to post a double. You know, I want to be able to post one thing to stream and have it to go exactly where I want it to. So. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, it's tricky, too, with social media because it's like you kind of want to put things all the same, all over, but right. you also kind of want to not repeat well, so okay, a sense of so my G original. Plus page is very food-oriented, as all of my circles know, and anybody mm -hmm. who has me in their circles. Um, so I'm okay putting food stuff there, but my Facebook personal page is just friends and family. It's, it's not a lot of people have me on Facebook. However, the social skillet has a Facebook page, and I want to be able to post there, but not to my personal stuff. And, and that's the trick that I'm having a hard time finding an app that will do just that for me. Yeah. Just G+, plus, just my fan page, not my personal page. Yeah, and it's tough. So, I mean, yeah, there's it's a lot, and hey, there's a lot of Google Plus business pages that people are playing with. and uh, Sure. We'll get into all that. Uh, we'll get, we're going to get heated up here in a second. And cooking time is, is going to come. Tonight's guest is shaken. Not stirred. Oh, that was the wow, worst. I thought joke. it was an earthquake. I thought it was an earthquake. It's an earthquake. Uh, let me quickly check. Oh, hey, CY film student. I, I think I know who that is. It's oh, that's uh, Kathy Cynthia. Cynthia Yildrum. My bad. Hello, Cynthia. Hey, How Cynthia. are you doing this evening? Thanks for watching. And as I tune in, it's a different format. Let me check the uh, the pro the old profile here. I'm using the comment tracker, which is a nice app too, but it doesn't always. You have to feed it correctly. And you can't slap it around. You gotta wine and dine it. You know? wanna dine it. Hey, Mark Belly. He said Lee Allison. You say okay. Now I'm interested. How our food doesn't eye travel very well. All right. Well, okay. So this is true. But we're gonna have a little science lesson here tonight. Also, we are going to be cooking. We've already eaten dinner. We have. We have. It's just sandwiches. It was. They were really good. But oh, it was delicious buffalo chicken. Sandwiches. Yeah. Um, what we're doing tonight is dessert, and it's a dessert that's gonna go from a cold kitchen to completely done in under 45 minutes, and this is a flourless chocolate pudding cake. Wow. But it isn't 
And we'll huh. talk about that in a minute. But I, I don't want to say... It's a trick. That. You're trying to trick us. No, yeah. no, it isn't, because what it actually is is really scary to a lot of people. We're not going to go into that until... You will. When we I provide... I, I bet it's in a foreign language, but... Uh, probably. Probably. Uh, well, let me let me just maybe take a step. So that you could step to your right, or step to your loo, or stay there. But I I, write, I do write some of this stuff down because I you know want to make sure. He I does. Prepare. He's got a script here and everything. Just I'm so intimidated. Bit. I am. Just a little bit. But I like to make sure that sound you hear. That's New York. Just to make yeah. sure we're live, yeah. and you can hear the sound. Uh, uh, okay, so this is a beautiful May evening. We've got. This direction, every window in the house is open so that we can get a little bit of now, uh, I wonder cool air. if I. No, she's we're like, not. No, she's like, you better not kill you. No, because I didn't <laughs> clean over there. I sort of cleaned oh, over here. Okay. Right. I was going to do a flip around and then a flip. No, my out. wife Allison will eviscerate you when you, you want to. You have a knife? No. Oh. No, they're all over there. I know where the moves are. Uh, <laughs> anyway, nice. somewhere down the street, somebody just opened up a uh, Harley shop. Nice. So we get serenaded by the lovely, full throated CC board. Sounds you know, of. Yeah. Not only that, mm -hmm. since this is New York, as everybody from New York knows, within the next 30 minutes, we will hear at least one siren go off. Of course. Minimum. Bare minimum. But that's what we live near. You live near a, a major roadway, so you're going to hear a lot more. A uh, major roadway, major hospitals, a couple of different things. Oh, uh, my wife and I actually have a theory. We think that most of the sirens that we hear, because it kind of sounds the same night after night. Are donut sirens? No, it's, it's not that it's fake. We think that the ambulance driver is in front of their ex-wives or ex-boyfriend's house just pissing them off. Nice. That's, it's just and they theory. all live in Astoria. And apparently, they all live in a half mile course. radius of my house. Mark Belly liked your comment about slapping it around. We're talking about the food science. Of yes, the food. Yes, the food. absolutely. Uh, but I finally really, I first really got to know Mr. Lee Allison over here in a Halloween hangout. That's kind of where I, I kind of heard about you before, but I really got to see you in action on the Halloween hangout. Lori Palmer. Organize this it huge is. Halloween hangout, and I it it's so still fun. up there on the web. Uh, actually, a sad thing happened. I was hosting a segment, and supposedly I had I was looking for scary stories on the internet. So I was, I, you know, this is before HOA, we did everything old school, and I found a couple of random stories, and I was just making them spooky. And whoever created those stories, or whoever found, somehow the video maybe a popular found your video, and now the audio was cut out because of that. So you never heard my, my ghost story? No, I think yours is up. I see, he oh, for my okay. segment. Now your segment is still oh, okay. up, but I thought that as was one really, mine's up. Yours up, yeah. Okay. But I, that was an interesting thing that Lori. Oh, that's fine. But and then Heather Faye did Thriller did a, yeah. did a, yeah, a she great did. segment of Tom Wilson. There was it, that hangout was going for. Out. For six, six, Four, seven. five, six, seven, eight hours. Lizzie right? Split did a, a, a yeah, little bit. Yeah. And, and, oh, and Julie Bell had the Angry Bird costume that one. Yeah, yeah, the whole thing. she did. When is, um, let's see, we're coming up on July is just month after. It'll be a one year, yeah. end of June, beginning of July. End of June is going to be one year time period. And it's really cool to still see people doing cutting edge stuff with the hangouts and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, the hangout conversations that... Uh, Matthew Rappaport is doing excellent. Um, let's see. Uh, Tiffany Henry did a 24-hour hangout for cancer awareness. I heard about that, and Paul was saw my friend uh, got involved in some body painting with her. And some, oh, that was, was really, beautiful. Was, and Paul is really giving a tell oh, to Oh, yeah, friend. he was hugely, hugely talented. Sure. Um, I saw another gentleman on my screen who had, uh, has a page specifically for a specific disease, and I forget exactly. Frank Garufi, Jr., who I just shared, uh, Crohn's. Yeah. Yes, Crohn's disease. Yeah, I think. Um, his son, I think it is, is afflicted with it. And so mm -hmm. he's got a page that's helping to raise awareness. So There's yeah. a lot of things, yeah, a lot of things happen. Yeah, you've got your Robert Scobles, and you've got, you know. Yeah, but I don't think they're actually using the HOA. Uh, Not really, but there's a lot of people doing some very cool stuff with G+. Ermine Omir actually just tried to do a, she did have a, she had thyroid surgery, and she, I guess they had a pre-surgical thing, and then they, they tried to do it, they, the hospital signed away on it, to do it live, but I guess they didn't realize what a hangout was, and they obviously can't do it live because if something goes wrong, well, yeah. bada boom. Yeah. So they recorded it, and everything went well, so I guess it'll be up later. And then uh, Dan McDermott was involved. He was hosting, and then he does his own show, too, and that was interesting. So a couple of weeks back, I went in and had a small outpatient procedure, and I was thinking about <laughs> having a hangout for that <laughs> one. It, it was the, uh, you know, all the males in the room, it, it was the, the yeah. Yeah, Cut that out. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I, I, I thought about it, and I floated the chicken. idea to Allison. She gave me a dead look. She's like, no way. You're not, no, thank but you. But you just told everyone anyway, so it's just... No, whatever. It's, it's, whatever. Hey, it's hey mine. To, to, to Morgan Sarns. Yes, absolutely. Responsible non-parenting. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, and uh, you were a mad scientist. You were wearing the glasses. You had the cobwebs. Oh, there's a the closet in there. Yeah, still in the closet, and um, that was that was pretty cool to see that happen. And that, and uh, we also we did the New York City Hurl, which was really we amazing. We did. We did the New York City Hurl. You know, the very first time I heard about it, I was like, man, this is a great idea, but you know, I don't know. It, this has the potential to flop in a a magnificent fashion, right? But it didn't. And it didn't. Not even a little bit. I would not so let awesome. things flop. I mean, no. Well, I didn't know you at the time. I was like, "Who's this spuds here? Who's What's that? Who cares about know? him?" Yeah. No. 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 It yeah. uh, it went wonderfully. We had a great time. My only regret was the inability to participate more than I did. Mm -hmm. By the time that I found out about it, um, Ali and I already had a weekend planned with some other stuff going oh, that's on. Fine. You know, and otherwise I'd have been there for the photo walks, hey, I'd have been I mean, there for the bar hopping, and you know, more than we did. The the, pro, the beauty of life, it will, there'll be more dates, there'll be more, look, we're doing this, and there'll be more to come, there so no worries. But yeah, it was great, the uh, kind of, we kind of did it, I was all planning the last minute, and, and we just said, oh, well, yeah, you want to come over and cook? It's like, ah, what the hell? And I was hey. like, it's not really, there's like not even a kitchen, it's like nothing. Oh, there's, it's, it's not It makes your kitchen it's, look like dynasty. It's, it was a cabinet, yeah. yay tall with a microwave mm. and a shelf over the microwave and a sink and that's and fortunately you know I uh, what was the name of the place we were staying at uh, it was I called it the New York City Hurl HQ is what I was calling right. it right well it was an apartment down off of 36th Street 36th Street yes and um, this apartment is for rent by the the day the week the month or whatever mm -hmm. and they've got photos of the apartment online <laughs> so Matthew had linked the here's where we're going to be staying here's the address and as soon as I signed on to do the cooking, the very first thing I did, Matt, was go to the website. Okay, what's he said there's a half kitchen. Oh, my God. That's not a kitchen. It's a sink in a corner. Okay, now I know what I'm working with. And no matter how rough it is, I know what I'm working with, and I just planned the menu accordingly. So it was all prefixed. All I did was pull in and assemble things. And no, and you did an amazing job. And you know what? It was he did. He created these these really creative uh, cowboy caviar, chicken, cheese, and a tortilla. I forgot cro crostini. What did you call them? Uh, not uh, not crostinis. crostinis. They were no, they weren't no. crostinis because they were using a t uh, taco uh, uh -huh. cup on the bottom. Uh, they were little finger foods. They were uh, uh, amuse bruce and mm -hmm. uh, hey, Mark. amuse bruce. I'm sorry. I can. I always slaughter the French pronunciation. Oh, we. Oui, We'll uh, get into the French probably later, possibly, okay. or another country. Well, you're going to pick my ass. some wine. So, wine so Je me parle et toi. Ah, yeah, well, this is our second drink of the night, kids, so, you know, these are Can trained we talk professionals. About that first drink? Yeah, we will, we will. We'll, we'll talk about it soon. Uh, I haven't even fully introduced you yet, but, uh, yeah, I just want to shout out to Mark John Clifford. They're like, who's the guest? We haven't seen the guest. When will the guest come? Mark John Clifford just joined? Mark John Clifford said hi, Matt, at least. So. Uh, excellent. Uh, Mark John Clifford, if you guys aren't following this gentleman on uh, G+. Shout out. He is uh, over on the West Coast, and uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Perry, Luke, everybody, uh, is a great guy who happens to be doing an awful lot of work to raise awareness for diabetes. There's a lot of people doing this kind of work, uh, but Matthew has a really good take on it and has a lot of really good information on his websites. Uh, last year, I participated in his uh, Diabetes Awareness for Kids uh, okay. Day. You mean Mark John, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think you said Matthew. Did yeah, I say Matthew? Possibly. Well, we were drinking. We're blaming it on the wine. Blaming on the wine. Mark yeah, John we're starting that wine card early. We're playing. Uh, it and yeah, we did kind of. Uh, Mar yeah, Mark Belly was talking about uh, the Hangoutathon. Yeah, Hangoutathon. I guess dot com. Yeah, that was a great thing. And 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 I also see Brooke Brown is raising money, and I know that we helped Tanner Campbell. He raised money for getting clean drinking water in Haiti. Sarah Hill did a great mm -hmm. cause. Sure. She was getting carts for people in third world countries to to take their kids and, and groceries because they had to travel through dirt and mud. And so there's so many different. Right causes and things in the world that uh, that we're doing on here and we're that we're moving around. Um, Mark Belly said link. I'm not sure. Uh, can you give a shout out? Hey, so yeah, I don't did I get the link wrong? I don't I don't know. I'm doing the best I can. Hey, why don't you miss Hey, if you want me to shout out something before the show, uh, just send me messages. I'm pretty friendly and tell me what it is and I mean I was aware of I'm aware of most things. But let me know, and I'll try to fit in. So I'll absolutely, do, do the best. We're gonna get absolutely. to these links, and then any shout out attached to a five dollar or larger denomination <laughs> goes to the head of the pack. I'm just saying. Because the head of having conversations, and a big percentage of that goes to certain charitable causes besides myself, such as the liquor store down the street. The liquor Buy store, and you know <laughs> all cancer charities, and um, and the human fund, <laughs> of course. 
the human fungus. The cops will be showing up before we're done. Uh, yeah, I believe right? you do. No, yeah, that's because that's because we make a ruckus, sir. Yeah, you, you you're like next to a porn apartment, right? So I do. <laughs> is there a porn I, studio? I, you I, know about that? No, but the really, is, seriously, do you have an address? Is this like I, on Google I Plus or no something? I have no idea. Google Maps? Uh, no, actually, the guy that, that owns this apartment building uh, has a, uh, it's a lingerie and underwear manufacturing shop right around the corner. Right. Nice. But do you go in there? Do you frequent visit? Uh, frequent oftenly? The judge says I can't. The judge says no. Right. Now, is that judge named Alice? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice judge. Ah, beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. actually, that's Ali Ali. Uh, we'll get into her. I mean, we'll get into, yeah. uh, that sounded wrong. Uh, anyway, yeah. you were at the concert as well, and you were at UCB Music. You were at the concert. For the Hurl, yes. Yeah, Hurl, Daria, yeah. Heather, um, Ryan, and Yeah, all of them. That Lynette. was a great time. Out, Peter. Got to meet uh, Peter, got to meet Lynette. Great people, Purple. absolutely enjoyed both of their companies. Um, then you had then we went, there. Yeah, oh, we hung out with you. Then we went bar hopping afterwards. We did, yeah, yeah. We we had a, a nice little drink. bit of bar hopping. Little, we little, we really had a drink, Alice and Allison. That was nice of you to take us to drink. Of and um, so, well, and here you are. It's, I mean, you're outspoken, you're funny, and you remind me of another another guy. You know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know who. Rapport. Anyway, it's, it's the chef. <laughs> it's Lee Allison, everybody. <laughs> I, don't know if we, I don't have any applause. Or clap That's all right. There. I don't need it. I'm, um, good. I'm good. Yeah, the shop you speak of. I'm not sure. Did we speak of a shop? Oh, he wants to know the name. Mark probably wants to know the name of the lingerie shop. Did you give it? Did you plug it? Is that what no, I didn't. I, yeah. yeah, I think you'll have to I tell everybody where I live. And the, the thieves would be here just Carver. thick as... Thick as thieves they are. Yes, yeah. exactly. I've seen you two alike. Andy and Andy yes. Dufresne. And yes. So... Uh, the Hurl experience was pretty amazing. They've done some it was hurls really cool. in Texas and D.C. and yeah. in Ottawa, Miami. Had but one. were we the first? We were the, I we're, guess, the first really big one. Every, well, it's New York. Were, it's New York. It's the yeah. biggest city. I mean, hey, I'm sure you guys had a good time, but we had a, yeah. people flew in from all over the place. You know what? How many, well, actually, there's a lot of rooftops like this, but how many cities in the world can you go to your rooftop and see the Empire State Building, the Chrysler Building, the R RKO okay. Building, and see the entire Manhattan skyline from your roof. Three floors this direction. I love it. And, you know, it's really weird because um, throughout my entire life, mm -hmm. um, I was born and raised in South Texas. Mm -hmm. Can I help you? One of these, uh, oh, okay. Uh, I was born and that. raised in South it's Texas. A, it's a visual guy because we're, we're on video. That's so. good. Uh, and I always thought about, you know, going to New York City. I was like, eh, I don't want to. What's the dirty? Oh, I'm dirty. a Cowboys fan. I don't it's, like those New York. I am. I've got like four jerseys, uh, four Cowboy sure. jerseys. I, I think I wrote something about that, but I didn't awesome. look it up. Um, well, I always thought that I would hate it until I moved here. There is These so much people. to do. These are your people. Uh, you <laughs> no. Know, all right. I'm, yeah, that might I'm be a push. Yorker, I mean, right. okay, some people are here. There's some really good people, and then there's a whole bunch of but that's everywhere. That's not less than good people. Or maybe in the South there. Well, no, down right in the here. South, people are a 100% more friendly than anybody in New York City. But would you rather, I mean, we, I mean, not, look, the South's beautiful, but, I mean, there's... It's gorgeous. Right, they're not saying anything. I'm just like... Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, I know where the chef knives are. <laughs> yes, you do. You do. Uh, so we can talk about a lot of stuff, continue with the hurl, but you do, you do cook, you do, you I do, do. You do our chef, uh, would you like to start with whatever you might make? Absolutely, so as I said at the beginning of the show, we've already eaten main course dinner tonight, and as usual, with, um, with any sort of hangouts or hangouts on, uh, on air or whatever, the challenge is to come up with a dish that can prep and cook and plate and under a reasonable show length time. Mm -hmm. um, last year when we were doing our uh, cooking schools, we, you know, every week this was a constant challenge for us. So um, our, our dinner tonight, or our dessert tonight, is going to be um, a flourless chocolate cake. Oh, now, God. before you poo-poo the idea, because, you know, flourless, you know, if, if you're gluten-free, you're totally into anything that's flourless, and you're thinking, well, this is going to be like a slab of tar, and it's not going to taste very good. <laughs> no, this isn't, because this isn't actually a cake that we're making, all right? Um, What's that you say? And I'm, it's a scary topic, what we're really doing here, and I'm not going to bust, I'm not going to kind of broach that until we're ready to go. Okay. All right, give me a little bit of room. You ready for me to cook? Sure. Do you want to just, oh, I'll pour the wine. That's fine. Yeah. I will pour the wine. Mm, sure. Okay. Uh, no, 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 there you go. Sure. If you would. Top me off right there. All right. First thing that we're going to do is I'm going to hit the oven over here to my immediate right. We're going to kick this to 375 and let that start to preheat. And right about there. All right. 
The second thing that we're going to do is we're going to melt six ounces of semi-sweet chocolate, and this is just uh, basic Nestle's. Feel free to kick this up and use a really high-quality chocolate, like a Ghirardelli's or you know one of the Swiss import chocolates. Oh, dude, do that. Bring it out. <laughs> yeah, seriously, come on. I don't, I don't Who are we kidding here? Who are we kidding, here? Are we kidding right? Uh, um, six ounces of chocolate. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can melt this. The traditional way is over a double boiler, which is absolutely 100% effective. Um, your challenge is to heat this until the chocolate gives up its physical form, the uh, the little morsels. Oh, hang on, I dropped that one. Okay, until it, that's going to go really good with the wine. I just realized that. It'll be weird with the wine. No, I'm whatever. Whatever. Don't mind about it. But you don't want to <laughs> you don't want to actually cause the chocolate to break or anything. So I put this into a completely um, dry uh, Pyrex. Thank you very much. Yeah, and those two, can I can we can we can you do a quick uh, like put the chips right up to the because uh, people will be yeah if we do a little um, yeah I want those back okay yeah you can have them back but I just want people to salivate and drool over the <laughs> chocolate chips. Um, Give me the chocolate. I mean that, right? All right, there we go. We just our viewers just went up by ten. Because yeah. of that. So <laughs> there we go. Awesome. You know what a you know what else double boiler is awesome for? I don't know. Is that a question that he's asking me or is he? What is? Mark Belly is really taking us on here, Mark. What is he saying? He says, you know what else a double boiler is awesome for? What's that, Mark? I don't know. Tell us, Mark. I mean, he wants you to probably tell. Let's him. see. What else is a double boiler really oh, good it's for? Like um, cooking jeopardy. You can melt anything that you need to melt gently That's in a good. double boiler. Uh, you can certainly poach eggs in a double boiler mm -hmm. very well. Um, Mark, what did you have in mind specifically? Let us know, Mark. And uh, while he's clicking on that one, so getting yeah. a spatula out. So it would be re so so you are chef. So what? what how long have you? Did you go to cul culinary school? Like when? Did, how long have you been cooking? Did you get all Salt the southern down. southern recipes? Your mom, your dad, family. Talk about that. Absolutely. Um, real quick. Yes. Um, when right. you're melting the chocolate in the microwave, what you want to do is you want to initially nuke it for about 30 seconds. And then just take a spatula and go through and get this. You can see. Oh, yeah, camera that. Yeah. You can see it's already starting to to melt just a little bit. And from this point forward, it's oh. just chocolate, son. My God, control <laughs> yourself. <laughs> chocolate. We love chocolate. We, we so uh, we had chocolate covered bacon. Ronnie Bodie was here. That's was my good birthday. Stuff. I'm sorry, but and yes. there was chocolate covered bacon on a stick, and it was just so amazing. Bar three seventy five. Plug for them. And it was a really cool place. They had they had salt. They had guacamole, mild, medium, and spicy. Of course, it wasn't spicy. Nice, and, uh, nice. Um, we're stuff. gonna give this another about ten seconds, and this is gonna Nine, take me a few seven, minutes. Yeah. Six, and what five. you want to do is you want to come back and renuke it ten or fifteen seconds at a time, and this is gonna take about three minutes all total for it to melt. Mm. But if you do it, you shouldn't burn it. Don't burn. Sure. Don't don't burn the baby. Yep, don't burn the baby. Don't burn the baby. Nice uh, Rain Man reference. Uh, I had to think about I that tried. one for a second. <laughs> Rain okay. Man or Adam Sandler, either way it's that. But. And as you can see, this is already... So now we were talking about... Wait, I shouldn't. I was going to bring up a disgusting reference, and that's a negative. Well, yeah, let's not do that let's while not I'm do that. Not while you're cooking. Wait for another cooking show. Yeah, another cooking not show. Fine. But you did but you tell a funny story earlier. Maybe in conversations plus after we're done eating. We'll okay, to, all right, we'll get into those afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to nuke this just a little bit more. Yeah, Cynthia says it's amazing chocolate. I mean, all chocolate's amazing. Well, Mark, yeah. Mark Barabelli, infusing butter with flavor, smiley face. Poached eggs are an awesome use, too. Oh, infusing butter. Okay, is it for the double boiler? Is that what he was referring to? Yeah, I think so. And he said poached eggs are awesome use, too. Actually, yep. never tried that before. Usually just use the steamed vegetables, which aren't as good as chocolate. Steamed vegetables are really good. One of the best $10 investments mm. that you can I hear make. the door. Awesome. Hello. Hello. Okay, right here on the video, right there, is my good friend Bridget, who is staying with us. And right there, hi, is my lovely lady, Ali Ali. You're you're on live camera, baby. You're sorry. live. Sorry. You. Just come on in. I can black you. Please black me. She's going to kick my ass later. Yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, I love how are you. Hi, Ali Ali. Nice to see you. Oh, and that's Bruiser. That's and that's Bruiser P. Allison, her yellow dog. And P is because he pees a lot. Yes, this is a true story. What are you drinking there? Vino, would you like some? Oh. There's more, though. Oh, Fry Brothers, okay. I think that's how you say that. Okay. You said it well. Fry, Fry. Fry, Fry. Look at the, the chocolate. Look at the chocolate. Are you want me to have some? No, no. Just, oh. you see, what are you that's, making? Uh, we are making a uh, flourless chocolate cake. Oh, very good. And ramekins, a little self-serve size. So oh, that's perfect. She's Did just home from it? work, so yes. my beautiful lady. And yeah. Yes, and it's funny. I have on the notes here an Allison Allison story about oh. Allison Allison. 
She's like, but well, we don't have to do that now. I'm saying later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, I don't have any stories. No, I mean, Lee had the stories. No, yeah, I had yeah, nothing. Yeah. I wasn't going to put you on the spot. Like no, there are no stories. Over. But you were in the Navy, right? I heard it on <laughs> I was. This show is going so well. It is. So, We're already drinking. Oh. Would you like a glass of wine, my lad? Yeah. She's okay. like, why well, wasn't ready when I walked in? All right. So, uh, so you can tell this is a live show. We were kidding. This is not recorded. We are live. Sorry. Okay. No, now, cool. I'm, I'm not, you know, all the foodies who just saw me twist the lid off the bottle of wine. <laughs> okay. They're all mm -hmm. okay. Um, this, I will go ahead and plug this after I remove the, uh, the price tag. The price tag. Put your finger there. Yeah, I'm trying to save the cork trees. And I don't this like those plastic corks. Mm. Okay, this uh, is a completely, there it goes. Uh, Santa Carolina, this is a uh, Chilean wine, and it is under $10 a bottle and delicious. It's really, really, really good. So, this, this is my lady's most favorite. Are you kidding me? Fireball! Oh my gosh, she brought home yeah. a full bottle of Fireball. Fireball cool. cinnamon alcohol. Sure. Oh, oh, we'll need to have some chocolate. Sure, and actually, from on his right one. shoulder is not on camera. Anything past his right shoulder. Not that you have to go there. I'm just letting you know if you want. Thank you. Yeah, just so that you can. Just if you wanted to get something out of something. Right, right. Well, and the bathroom is definitely not on camera at all. Oh, because I want to wash my hands. I bet I'm a nasty girl. I heard. You know, I'm trying to cook here, folks. Yeah, but yeah, chocolate. So there's a lot of chocolate, and that is it's very hot. No, it's actually not. It's a little bit above room temperature. Now, the next thing that we're going to do. Now, normally for my oh, shows. Oh, are they saying we're echoey? Huh. That's weird. Are we echoey? Tell us if we're echoey. Or I don't know. Anyway, I hope not. I don't know. I don't know. We've got lots of a lot of sounds, a lot walls. of things going around. So a lot of different people and sounds. Help! Exactly. Okay, really, you're not helping. Okay. <laughs> She's underwater, kids. We're underwater. Hey, <laughs> we're digging for fish. And <laughs> okay. So normally when I do uh, the cooking shows, I like to try to do all of the actual prep work on the show. But one of the things that we needed to prep was six egg whites, or I'm sorry, six eggs separated yolks from the whites. And I've pre-done just a little bit of this right here. Uh, let's see, without nice. anybody wearing anything. Up. There we go. That's good. Nope, too bright, but that's all right. <laughs> this is... Whoa. <laughs> Tina Gallery. Yep, definitely. All right, and we're going to go ahead and do the, the whipping on this right here in the small bowl. The chocolate is just going to go right in here with the eggs. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to hit all of this with a whisk. Now, can we see the chocolate and the eggs up close? I will show you awesome. here in just a minute. So you were talking a little bit about how you started cooking and why you were cooking and, and um, what your love is for it. And the cooking, you know, the this is definitely one of those situations where I get this from um, from my folks, uh, from my mom specifically. Uh, the when I was growing up, the situation that we were handed was um, we'll make uh, we'll make a dinner. Um, mom was was going to make dinner five times a week. Uh, the breakfast was going to be whatever we wanted to have, and lunch was at schools, and then there was going to be big dinners on the weekend. But outside of that, if there's something, you know, if I came home from work and I was, or from school and I was like, I really wanted brownies, the standard attitude was, there's the kitchen, <laughs> don't blow kitchen. anything up. Now, the interesting thing about this was I actually did. The very first thing that I ever fixed was a... Um, was it? Oh, it was uh, it was uh, banana bread oh, yeah. that I managed to completely and totally destroy. So that was awesome. And then after the banana bread, I fixed uh, I burned Rice Krispie treats. Oh, did they were they any good or? No, I burned okay. them. I physically burned Rice Krispie okay, they were treats. Black, totally black. Yeah, and I was re I was removed from the kitchen ad infinitum for a long, long time until I was able to convince her to let me back in one more time. And on that second time, a little bit of. Hey, no what you, what, uh, someone doesn't like the fireball one. That is that is what I that's egg. There you go. Say thanks. <laughs> and then on the uh, my third try in there, I turned out a perfect <laughs> from scratch angel <laughs> food cake. So good. I, I can wear egg. You know, everyone's like everyone could wear egg. You know, dark never, barking was what they were talking about. Yeah, 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 that's no problem. Thanks a lot, David Carver. Yeah, Bruiser just got a little excited and uh, nobody asked you to. You know, so you're on your own there, my friend. But, just saying, with the egg. Oh, that's, I thought it was funny. I don't mind egg. I don't mind getting full of egg. All right. It's all so. good. It's all good. Is this pure sugar? Yep, that's pure sugar. Okay. okay. 
Wait, I just want to show them the cocaine. It's sugar. It's mm. not cocaine. It's we got it directly from Charlie Sheen. Oh he was visiting God. and it's winning. <laughs> no, I don't know. Not as well. That's not copyrighted. Right? Okay. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take six ramekins. These are standard uh, white baking cups. Rather than like this. And we are going to grab a little bit of processed butter like spread. Or margarine. The, the crock. Yeah. yeah, just a little you bit. You know what's amazingly? People actually requesting you to make stuff, like a request. I'm like, really? That's really? great. Someone, someone's like, can you make green veggies and oh, green yeah. pasta and yes. uh, aging permits? That's cool. Yeah, if you, make, if you want to make your own pasta, uh, 100 grams of flour, one egg, and a pinch of salt, and just a dash of water, Okay. form that into a nice solid ball, and that works out to approximately one serving of pasta. If you want it to color it, or if you want it flavored, uh, let's say you want to make basil pesto pasta, mm -hmm. take the basil, put it in a blender with a little bit of oil, a uh, blender or food processor, and reduce it to a paste, and put that, work that into the pasta. That gives you that emerald green color. If you want a yellow color, use saffron. Um, what other colors? If you want a red color, you can use beet juice. Mm -hmm. But whatever it is, reduce it to a paste and put it in the pastas. Fresh pasta, pasta fresca, is Absolutely worth the minimal work that it takes to do. So, yeah. Oh, it is so good. What is your? Do you have a fit? Do you have a preferred color? Natural pasta versus just natural. Color? Yeah, just natural. A lot yeah. of oh, that's the hip thing to make all the pasta different colors. Right? Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not, you know, I, I'm not taking like a religious viewpoint. Right. Oh my so, God, I mean, you're a lot of people, a lot of people <laughs> like taste. A lot of people like presentation. A lot of people like yeah. both. I mean, what do you think about artist art? Art. Artistry in the, in the kitchen. Well, one of the truest things I've ever heard is you eat with your eyes first. Okay. And what that basically means is when you come up on a dish, you consume that dish visually first. If it looks like crap, <laughs> you're... Um, so I read an interesting Sorry, article. Do you know why all of the big chain grocery stores that you go into have produce up front? Because it looks so nice. Why? Or why, but why is that important to them? Because you're gonna buy more. Because it's called prepping. it's called prepping, or I'm sorry, priming. That sounds like the dog drinking water. Yeah, the dog drinking water. It's see. called priming. When you go in and everything that you see is fresh flowers, fresh produce, fresh all of this, your expectation is that everything that is that gonna thing. be fresh, whether it is or it isn't. It's like setting. It's like the outside of the appearance, the outside of a restaurant. The right. The outside of the right. Room. Like our HQ. So would be nice. priming works good. Works well with just regular dishes, also. Yeah. Uh, if you make sure that um, the dish looks good. I wouldn't say that's an interesting analogy to human beings, like looking good on the outside and yeah. on the inside. And exactly. Sometimes people don't necessarily look good on the inside. Absolutely. But awesome he can be the nicest guy in the world, but if he looks like a street bum, you're really gonna. <laughs> am I wrong? Run like for you? it. <laughs> Run. There's a minimal level of, of presentation that's required. Yes. Okay. Back to the cooking. Yes. Cooking. Back on the ramekins, once we've uh, wiped down the interior with butter, I'm going to take a little bit of sugar, and don't tilt that very much because it's pretty very low cal. This? This? Oh, no. Yeah. Nothing low cal about this Sounds whatsoever. Like a diet. Okay. <laughs> All we're going to do wow. is sprinkle the interior yeah. of each one of these with uh, a little bit of sugar. This is just like flouring a cake, but it's sugar. Uh, flouring a cake. Cocaine. Not deflowering, but flowering. Oh. It's a different thing entirely. That is Lee's lovely wife, and she knows about the deflowering, right? Oh, yeah. We haven't consummated yet. <laughs> Not yet. They're still waiting for the... the Not while you were awake, woman. Uh, All right. Wow. So, anyway... There's about 8 million laws that you just broke right now. Wow. Yeah, Breaking the law! What? Who said that? None of which I subscribe to. They, and they can only convict me if I agree. I'm guilty. Viewership just went up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And we're at nine on YouTube, but there's probably a thousand million wow, watching. Awesome. Thousand, I like that number, a thousand million. Don't you? A thousand million, that's a good number. Oh, that's that's uh, the new metric system, that's right? That's a million. What? That's a billion. A thousand Ooh, million. Yeah. A billion. It is, but it's more fun to say a thousand million. A billion, eh. You know, it's cool, a billion dollars. Uh, no, but that was the Are you the ring man? You So we have the ring man over, she's a female. All right. She doesn't buy her underwear at Kmart. Okay. <laughs> The other thing that I have pre-prepped that I don't normally is the um, the mixed egg whites. And Should we show what it looks like? You're this like, is just those six eggs that we were talking about earlier white. have been wh whipped into a nice peaked white, and they were kept refrigerated for a little bit. That's the mixing and the dining and the mixing. 
Um, so you are, besides being a chef and having a passion for being a chef, you um, love the game. You're a gamer. Yeah, I'm a video game. gamer. Love the video game. Diablo 3 just came out. Yeah, Absolutely. and there's tons love of it. memes for the Diablo 3. There are. There are. In fact, I'm wondering if, uh, I talked about the live meme thing. Yeah, we talked about that when you and I wonder, first got here. Yeah, and I wonder if I just put a little something for everyone out there. I wonder if that'll be annoying if it's up the whole time. I'm just going to do a live meme and see how it appears to you. Oh, I, I, I spelled something wrong. So how everybody, how is everybody else doing, out doing, doing out there? I've been joining. What? I had to step away. The bowl that I was mixing the uh, chocolate and the egg whites in is a little bit too small. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to transfer it to a larger bowl so I have room to work. All right. It says I have to upgrade. Does that, is, do you think that will cause an issue if I upgrade now? Upgrade what? Your plug-in. That probably will mess things up. All right. I yeah. Will, yeah, just leave I will it. not be doing that. Well, next time. Yeah. Next show. Next show. When we're going to go over to Matthew's and I'm going to watch him cook something. Oh, yeah. That means making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow, it's a yeah, harsh I crowd. Get, I can make an omelet. Just not well. I'm going to call Mr. Wams and oh, deliver no, Dr. Wu. Dr. Wu. Yeah. Mr. Plow. Oh, wow. Mr. Who? What? He brings, he, brings, he brings the snow cones, don't you know? <laughs> Oh, Leslie. Leslie? No, that, she doesn't do that. She does. No, it's a he. Oh, well, not, I didn't know that. My bad. <laughs> yeah, no, this show's taking <laughs> We didn't get decided to We didn't go that worst. far. <laughs> We're cooking up a storm. Yeah, make you <laughs> Leslie. Leslie Allison? What? Uh, hey, hey, whoa. I had a girlfriend uh, in high school named, uh, named Leslie. No. Uh, anyway, he is stirring up a storm there. So, is that your, now, are you... He's angry about Leslie. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoa. She didn't go to she prom do? with me, though, Winch. She went with Tommy Hilgens, the quarterback. Aww. Is this me or is this you? No, that's you. The one with more is you. Well, no problem. Okay, uh, okay so to catch up on what we did, the uh, chocolate that had been melted, we took about a third of the egg whites and mixed this in there. Um, this was to go ahead and lighten up the mixture just a little bit. I'm getting ready to bring the rest of the egg whites in and very, very gently fold this Hold these together. Look, I'm cooking too. Not really. No, you're not. Get your hands off the tools. Right? <laughs> okay, so. I'm just on. No. All right. First step in this, let's get the whisk out of here, and we're going to switch over to a spatula. Fireballs are going on. Say again? I said some fireballs going on around us. All right. Oh, I'm just saying that there's some, like we said, there's some fireball drinking, which is cool. Uh, so Diablo three, and so but you also do. You also have a, a hangout. You use hangouts for gaming. Well, yeah, we do. Um, me and a uh, real good friend of mine, uh, Eric McKee, who's also my partner in crime for the Social Skillet. Mm -hmm. We do. Um, we have hangouts going, not quite twenty four by seven, but pretty much most of the day and night. We're in a hangout talking, you know, while we're gaming or writing newsletters or whatever it is that we do. Yeah, we're keeping them going the whole time. Awesome, and Absolutely. I keep using the key. I keep using the wrong mouse. I'm like, what? Uh, yes, flour is chocolate cake and chill out water. Hey, how are you doing? She oh, said, Michelle. She said I'll have some. I'm gonna say it's totally wrong. Even though I take French, pouille, pouille fouette, pouille. What does that mean? That's way beyond my French. That's uh, Michelle is our French expert. P o u i l y. I think it's pouille fouette. I have no idea. I said totally wrong. Uh, no, it's P if she's French. She's watching. She's like a rapport. Oh. But uh, we're doing pretty good. We have a lot of... Uh, Mark John Clifford says, by the way, thank you guys for moving. Yeah, no problem, Mark John Clifford. Uh, yeah, hang out. Sure. I love, yeah, all we do is hang out. All we are are hangouters. And uh, we do our hangouts. We do a lot of this stuff. Okay. So here we go. Our next step in the... So it's just going to be to... So should we talk about the foreign language part of it, or that step comes later? Foreign language part of what? The, so you said you didn't, we didn't want to talk about the fact that it's a souffle. It's a souffle. This is, is technically a souffle, a souffle that we're working on yes. here. So chocolate, chocolate list, and full of chocolate. Souffles are pretty scary for a lot of folks, but souffle, all it is is egg white, and then you're depending upon the the steaming of the liquids in the egg white while it cooks to cause rise. That's it. Yeah, I would love if people can take some photos for me and send them to me because I do not have the capability here like I did. It's but see, I'm crushing his face. There you go. Yeah. Okay, whatever you're doing, you're you're yeah, you're gonna be cut off. Oh uh, no! 
But uh, okay. and the thing that's going to make this different, why this becomes a chocolate cake as opposed to just a souffle, and I'll show you the difference here. Um, we're actually cooking these in a water bath mm -hmm. as opposed to just cooking them straight up as they are. A water bath? That's an interesting phrase. Um, no, all it's the purpose is okay. So if you're depending upon the souffle, if you're depending upon the heat and the steam to cause the rise, the water bath is just going to slow that down. And instead of getting a, a high-rise souffle, this is going to actually stay a little bit denser, and it's going to form a cake-like interior, which is going to be really good. So, it sounds really good, and I can't wait to try it. For the water bath, all we're going to do is just going to take a 13 by 9 pan, and I'm going to grab a napkin here real quick. Sorry for the shaking on the camera. It's okay. Mark loves us, by the way. He loves us. Hey, Mark, we love you, too in the way that many men can love each other. Do you know Leslie? Do you know Leslie? <laughs> Would you like to love Leslie as well? <laughs> Leslie sounds like Leslie's British. Maybe. Okay. Can you switch back over so I can see the camera real quick? Sure, you might want to do that. I mean, I might want to do that for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, so, so what I have here is I've taken a uh, paper towel and I've put it in the bottom of the pan. Yes. Uh, the paper towel is so that when I put the water in here, this stuff doesn't slide around a whole lot. Okay. And then I'm going to take a measuring cup. Now, how many times have you made this dish before? Like, countless number of times? Or so, then I'm going to take a measuring cup with some water, and I'm going to pour this right over here. Mm -hmm. This is my very first time making this. Oh, is it? That's awesome. Absolutely. That's sweet. It's original. You're doing an awesome. It's like you've made it. That's why I was well, surprised. Like you made it. Right? This, the water bath is typical for uh, cream brulees. Creme brulees? Creme brulees, sure. yep. A water bath, that sounds like uh, something I do sometimes when I want to be clean. Well, hopefully it's more than sometimes. Than well, other, other times there's showers. Yeah. Showers. There's showers, and then, not okay. showers. Since we're talking the souffle here, yes. and let's go, ahead and let's go ahead and use the dirty word, the S word. The souffle, no, leave that word, it's oh. fine. Um, the only trick to souffle is everybody says that you've really got to be careful and you don't want the souffle to fall or anything like that. Mm -hmm. That's not Rubbish. an issue. Not for noise. It's going to take like a shotgun blast for just noise to make the souffle to fall. The thing that's going to kill your souffle is cool drafts. Mm -hmm. So close your oven, set your timer for 35 minutes, and forget that the damn thing exists. Forget it. Set it. <laughs> you, opening the souffle, opening the door while the souffles are in there, yeah. almost certainly will cause them to fall. But not singing or noise or dancing. You know, don't get too carried away. Don't blast the Led Zeppelin or whatever. But of course, that would be what yeah. I would cashmere on. I was going to show you putting the uh, in the no, oven. We're good. That's all. Oh, okay. Well, you put it in the oven. You have to trust us. It is. Hey, y'all need to keep it down over there. Oh. Um, that's there. Cranky Dr. Bunch of money do. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, you guys want me to camera? What? No. Okay. <laughs> They're like, and who's talking over there? Then all this is just clean up for the ladies. Cranky Chef Boyer Ali. <laughs> oh. That's Ali double. That's Ali squared over there. To the second power. Yeah, to the second power. All right. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup. You talk for just a minute. Yeah, okay? so uh, can you talk while you're cleaning up? Or? Well, yeah, but I'm going to be way off camera over here. Oh, that's fine. That's, that's crazy. So let me go check some comments. Thanks for everyone for tuning in. And we're having a great time live from Astoria and Bruiser the Dog. This is his wonderful kitchen. Uh, actually, why not? Let me just show you. I know he doesn't want me to, but I will show ah, you. Nope, sorry. Like, no, no, you can't see that. Nice anymore. try. <laughs> All right, so. So how's everybody doing out there tonight? We're doing great. Thanks for asking. Look, I've got an audience. Has Leslie tuned in yet? Leslie has not tuned in. That's Allison, Allison, and Brigitte, 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 don't forget that about not, Brigitte. Not brisket, Not brisket? No, brisket, brisket? is tasty, though. And we'll have to make brisket, that next time. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a good. long prep. That's Brisket's a long prep. <laughs> it's a, that's a four or five hour cook on brisket. Well, so we'll show up when it's done. You know? I don't know about brisket. I, I, you know, I have no idea. Just what I've heard. That's all. Yeah, it's brisketta. Brisketta oh. and tasty. Husband. Yes, love. Do you have dinner on the boil for mommy? Um, after the show, I will. Oh. We have souffle. Oh, I'll be in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're yeah. doing shots of fireball over there, girl. Oh, this is lovely, on a, squirrel. On an empty stomach. Is it? Is it 100% empty? It's my insurer. I, 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 it's ensuring that I'm getting less. I assure her that it'll be Well, you do have some cold cut. Do you want to make one of those? Can you make one of the sandwiches or no? You're, we had sandwiches. It was nothing fancy. 
can we can we make one of those live or you would feel sure. Yeah, why not? You want a sandwich? Let's make it live. Sure. You got you the buffalo a chicken? On a no chick buffalo chicken, lettuce, tomato, cheese. Wow. Really? <laughs> Peanut butter on a slap. Yes, that's what, what kind you're of a getting. Yes, that's yes, what my lady is getting. Uh, <laughs> really? What? Did you on air? On air? Peanut butter and jelly. I wanted the jelly pocket. Oh, I don't want any of your clever sammies. I just want whatever's in there. <laughs> What's going on? Take that. <laughs> and we're slowly sober, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so the souffles. Souffle, I hear that's French I got a, for. I've got a, uh, it's French for pain in the ass, is mm -hmm. what it is. Well, hey, the, the French are going to get upset. They're sleeping. Yeah, no, they're, they're sleeping. not named Leslie, so we don't care. They might right. be. Leslie, okay. too easily. <laughs> and the This <laughs> is a, a bag of fantastic semolina loaves that I got from the bakery. Yes. And, uh, whoa. Sorry about that. Right. Almost got away from you. Yeah, but it didn't, so, you know. That's not as the ice cream man. Don't be scared. Yeah, the ice cream yeah, man comes by, really like, though. after all the kids' bedtime. We have, we think it's a front for a drug operation. Oh, so they know. put drugs in the ice cream? No, you know what it is? No. It's got dry cleaning pickups to do. He's oh. <laughs> got stops he's got to make. He's got a little stash. A couple going. of people he's got to beat up. Yeah, he but makes her things in the back. Nice. Awesome sauce. New Orleans. Like oh no, we lost two people. They had to go. Cynthia, thanks for watching in March. Cynthia, take care. Take it easy. We're we're Cynthia cutting the bread. Cynthia is going to meet the Leslie. Yes. So G four rapid fire. Uh, this is a tough one. Cooking or eating? Would you choose which one? Based on Sophie's choice. <sighs> eating. All my cooking is so that I can eat a really good meal. Beer or wine? Beer every single time. Wine for Allison, Allison. But beer for me every single time because I can brew it. I know how to brew my own beer. Oh, that'll, that'll, so why did you, that'll awesome. be the next show, Brewing Your Own Beer. Is that tough? Uh, I can do an all-green batch right. in about an hour and a half to two hours. If yeah. I had the gear, but I don't have the gear, and I definitely don't have the space for it. And what? And so your favorite beers are bitter, dark? What I do not like bitter beers. I'm not a big fan of IPAs. You my bitter. theory... Yeah, I'm bitter enough after a bunch of XYs. Like a black coffee. My theory is... you say is bunch, is there more than one? No. Uh, there's two. There's two. There's two. This one, okay, go ahead. You know, I know you want to no, ask. Charm. Go ahead. I know you want to ask. What's the story with this one? No, no, no. no. We, no the story is off limits. We'll do it later. No, it's not off limits. This beautiful lady over I here. I know the story. I your brother. Okay, about real, real quick. This beautiful lady that I'm married to over here that I got married to last uh, June in Central Park, um, her and I dated 20 years ago, over 20 years you guys ago. Were teenagers. And we, we, we were in our early 20s, mid 20s. I was close. We almost got married then. We didn't. We went our separate ways. And about three years ago, we met up with each other again on Facebook. Hey. Can you oh, I just wanted to show that there's a knife here. Yeah, there's a, there's a nice little Santoku there. Beautiful knife. Uh, you're not allowed to play with that. So, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I heard. I signed up for it. Okay, keep going. <laughs> Anyway, uh, 20 years goes down the road, and uh, we reconnected. We're married. Absolutely very much in love. At least I am. I have uh, mixed <laughs> signals some days. So. Oh, yeah, well, I know. So. And uh, her name happens to be Allison, and one of the reasons she was going to marry you is because your last name was Allison? And yes. That was one of the reasons. So she is now officially Allison Allison, and last... Uh, baby, when was it you went to get your Social Security after the wedding? September? Uh, yeah. And did they laugh? Was there any... Oh, uproariously. I was nearly arrested. They didn't believe you. Oh, there was a huge incident behind, you yeah. know, nine feet of glass, like, you know, somebody's going to go in there and level the place. And, you know, they acted as if I didn't understand how to fill out the form. Oh, because they, they thought you they thought you're lo they, you're putting two first names. Yeah. Nice. And I said, well, I understand the language. <laughs> I, am, I am This is why you did it. And reading English. Yeah, and she's got more college than I hear this? Tell us if you can't hear. Where it says last name. That's where I put my last name. Mm. And where it says first name, that's where Which just first happens name. to be the same as your last name. So what part of first and last name do you think I don't get? I'm getting a manager. <laughs> so you your things. name is Allison Allison. That's not, that's like, I mean, there's got to be, like, Chinese people named Lee Lee, right? Well, what about Philip Phillips? Philip Phillips, well, he's still got the ass, though, but well, yeah. What about Leslie Santuco? Oh. <laughs> what, what about, leave Leslie out of there. <laughs> Um, yeah. All right, so anyway, Whoa. from the drunk contingent over there. No, they're just having fun. Yep. They're on their first, second. 
So we're making we're still making a sandwich. We can't really. Yeah. Totally, can I? Can no, I this is no, this I don't need to touch it. It's just a good sandwich. Don't it's worry. It's a good sandwich, and I like it. So uh, where were we? Football or video games? Wow, really? Selfie's choice. I wow, think. football or video wow, games? Wow, you're gonna really have to struggle with that. I'm gonna sweat over that you one. Wanna, well, both. Um, is there one that? Video games are 24 by 7 throughout the year, football, but yeah. football, you know, it's uh, it's 16 games a year. I don't play a football video game. Uh, you know, I don't like that. I'm not a fan. You're not a fan of that. Not okay. A fan so both, of, and because James Lipton, it's a very James Lipton of me. What's your favorite curse word? F it. Just fuck. fuck. Fuck, yeah, uh, it's multi-purpose. It's a, a verb. It's a noun. You can. We're talking about this in a, in a hangout. Adjective, verb, noun. Everything. It is. It, it is the all-purpose. It's the Swiss Army knife of foul language. I am, however, uh, I know there's an awful lot of people out there who take a, take a very dim view of foul language. Right. Uh, eight years in the Navy, and I'm a firm believer that it is an integral part of expressing. And so, yourself. how did you choose? You know, so, how did you choose to be in the Navy? Want to tell a little background about the Navy? Yeah, my dad was in the Army, and I love my dad. He's awesome people. But I wanted something to be able to compete with him. Uh, and so, from the remaining three branches that were left, if I wasn't going to go Army. Uh, I wanted to go see things, and while well, I was in the Navy, I went to the Persian Gulf twice, I went to Hong Kong, Singapore, uh, Philippines, Hawaii. Is your favorite? Um, Hong Kong, okay. without a doubt. Hong Kong was my Food, favorite city in all of it. Fair. The whole nine yards, I loved it. <laughs> no, you know, I really didn't do much of that in Hong yeah. Kong, that was other ports, but... Um, <laughs> other ports. You have. Is it true what they say about the ports? The yes. From port to port? And yeah, um, it's... It's, That's you know. exactly why I didn't marry you. Oh, there's a real reason. <laughs> Bang! She's like, I like my body the way it is. Hey, yeah. you want us to have some meat? I was worried. Worried. I was sick. Yeah, so that's interesting, right, though? I mean, at one point, no one cared about that stuff, and now it's like on everybody's mind. Yeah, now it's absolutely on everybody's mind. Right, so have some sex safe, safe sex at the same time. Absolutely. So, so uh, did you cook it all in the Navy, or was Tripoli... No. Uh, no. While I was in the Navy, I had the coolest job, short of fighter pilot, that you can ever have. Uh, seriously, because fighter pilots would get cool. Um, did they turn you down? Turn you down. I had bad eyes at the time. I've had LASIK since. Okay. Uh, but when I was in the Navy, I shot Tomahawk cruise missiles. Hmm. So I was able to, for the first Gulf War, um, the USS Paul Foster, uh, who we just went to... No, not anymore. Okay, good. Not anymore. Okay. Um, we launched the cruise missiles that opened the Gulf War, the first Gulf War. You I started a war. the overture. No, no, no. I, wa I was the person who punched the button on the very first you, one. You started, started the Gulf started War. started the first Gulf War. I truly did. Yes. Is that serious? Totally. I didn't on know that. that. Look on that wall right there behind you. Oh, that's yours? Yep. Well, it's an artist. I mean, condition. still, that's the one you... Holy yeah. moly. So, Chef Leal's a peaceful, awesome, loving guy. <laughs> <laughs> the first Gulf War. And yeah. uh, did you actually... But you didn't actually like, meet the president or anything like that? No, 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 no. It, any, was, it, was you get, into, so it was played into a team of Can you talk a little bit about there. getting that command to pull that first trigger? Well, yeah. Or, um, so, <laughs> it was Commander Tim Ahern who was uh, in charge of the boat at the time. Mm -hmm. This was... Were you uh, parked outside of Kuwait, or...? We were parked uh, just north of Bahrain, inside the Persian Gulf. Okay. And uh, he came on the announcing system uh, January the 16th at about 6 o'clock in the evening. And he said, folks, he said, I want everybody to know, um, we, have been, we have received orders to get this show started tonight. Wow. Everybody relax, take a deep breath, follow your training, follow the orders of your officers, and we're going to come through this okay. And we did. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, right? You fire the first shot, and you're still here to breathe, and yeah. it's sick for you. Yeah. So did you, now did you, I mean, I don't know if you talk about it or what you want to talk about, but sure. after you fired the first shot, was, there must have been a response, right? Yeah, hold on, let me, okay. let me deliver this. Deliver the sandwich, and this lovely let me go. I can, okay. you can. It's fine, let me check the audience. How's the audience doing? How are you doing? He's delivering dinner to his lovely Alice and Alice's wife. And there's a kiss with the sandwich, and he did. He does smell like there's um. Tongue there's there. tongue edge, but it smells a little like uh, a little like smoking jacket, a little like wine. And wow. Risk it. Okay, so you were asking about um, the response and everything. <laughs> yes. It was kind of interesting because we were um, in the Persian Gulf, and we were part of the USS Paul Foster, the USS Princeton. Uh, we were attached to, I believe it was the Iowa Battle Group. At Okay, cool. We were temporarily transferred from the Ranger to the Iowa, and the Iowa did some launching, the Princeton did some launching, we did some launching, and uh, that opening night, the the missiles are subsonic. 
Right. They only travel about 500 miles an hour only, okay, but they, they travel less than the speed of sound. And they go over 700 miles. So it's about an hour and a half flight time. From the moment we launched, when we initially launched that first night, we launched four of them, us, the Iowa launched two or three, the Princeton launched half a handful. And uh, all of these missiles uh, were in flight for over an hour. And uh, we had gone and gotten cleaned up, and we were in the crew's lounge wow. listening to the BBC. And the BBC is... It's always, having, it's always the BBC. Yeah, yeah, it's always the BBC. It's always the British. They're really? having a, an interview with some expert who is saying that Saddam Hussein was not going to back down, and he didn't know what coalition forces were going to have to do. And we're sitting there going, you idiots, weapons are in flight. We cannot recall them. We cannot disengage right. this attack. Right. These guys is this are fast. Ha- is this the only official firing? Or did you fire them? Was there more involved? Um, more the action? Paul Foster fired 40 of them all total. Okay. The Princeton fired 60 cruise missiles. For the entire Gulf War, there were 240 some on them. And so, was it coincidence or so luck, or you knew you would be first? How we worked hard. We trained as a group, as a ship. We trained very, very hard to be that reliable and that. Um, that so you don't just get cooking on the cooking show. Right, yeah, you get, you you get, get military expertise. <laughs> yeah, you get stuff that can take us out. So, wow, that's pretty amazing stuff. Yeah, I didn't even know that, that you were the first one. Yeah, and absolutely. And so did you, do, now, after you fired the first, it's war, so I don't know, do you have a drink after the first one? Or? No, we were on board the ship, and we were ready for a response. And uh, if you go back and look at the timeline of the Gulf War, um, the first response was the scuds coming out of Iraq, going into Iraq, um, to... Israel and going into Saudi Arabia and stuff like that. Uh, and we were worried about anti-ship. We were worried about you know other stuff. None of yeah, that I ever. Yeah, none of none of that ever materialized. So we were relatively safe. We were a lot safer than you know a lot of other people in that war. Yeah. I, and definitely, if you're talking. Because wasn't there? Didn't they? Wasn't there a time where they lit like they they used the oil and they lit fires and stuff? Yeah. Um, Saddam Hussein's uh, strategy for all of his forces as he was pulling out of Kuwait was to light all of the uh, oil wells on fire in the desert, and even out in the middle of the Persian Gulf, it was. It yeah, didn't get as dark. Some of those or? Well, we we couldn't see them, but we could see the smoke, and we spent three or four weeks where we didn't see sunshine just because of all the smoke that was in the Persian Gulf. Wow. Um, he did a lot. There was a lot of ecological damage he did, and it was a scorched earth policy worse than anyone else has ever deployed. Um, yeah, so, yeah it, was, it was horrific. And it's amazing, too, that it took not just one, but it took two wars to, or two missions to get Right, there. right. Um, and my only complaint of the war, you know, and, and I hate to sound gung-ho and I hate to sound, you know, all this... We should have finished it on the first go. We could have. Yeah. And you could have. But we, we totally could have. And there's been so much talk about what, what would have happened if you took them out, and we've seen what, what happened after taking them out. Right. It's pretty crazy. Right. One, of the, one of the biggest problems, and you know, I don't want to get too deep into politics right. because it can be contentious, but one of the biggest problems that you, you run into... You're right. You fired the first one. Here. Well, uh, anytime any government gets into regime change, you're really messing in other people's affairs. You really need to be careful. Now, in a situation like with Hussein, where it's an obvious dictator who's obviously crushing his people and such, okay, but the U.S. has been participant in regime change for peacefully elected regimes before. Right. You know, and, and we... Well, undercover missions. We shouldn't be doing that, you know. We should, we well, should be a little I mean, more isolation. There is, a little bit. I, mean, little bit. I, I know we talk about freedom and stuff, but there right. is a sense, I mean, people, the world works on money, power, and, I mean, it really, I mean... Somebody uh, uh, just yesterday... We haven't heard an alarm yet. I was wrong in my predictions. Well, we still have more time. Um, Anyway, uh, somebody said recently, you know, with regards to the Occupy and everything, that uh, this was, it was not Warren Buffett, but it was one of his cronies, one of the big, you know, way up there. He was saying that Congress acts and serves at the behest of Wall Wall Street. Yeah. You know, and it's sad. I, I don't doubt it in the least, but that isn't what the country was founded on. It wasn't. And we need to get back to that. Yeah, and I think that one of the, you know, I just talk about the world in general about how, like, you you know, everyone was taught a certain thing. You were taught that the world works with money and there's certain things you have to do. You know, the typical, you know, you get married, you have kids, you have free tenants, you have this, that, and you have a job and you have retirement and this, you know, the internet and everything else. And <laughs> strawberries, you have strawberries. You have strawberries have for the chocolate flourless cake. That's, 
Right. It's getting ready to come out here in just a minute. But yeah, but it's amazing that uh, that the world, if, if money was not an issue, like, I mean, if people were not fighting over power because at least with money, I mean, if, we, if, every, if everyone worked together and they couldn't rely on money, would we have so many wars? I mean, religion, I guess, but... Well, um, it's all about power. E even, even, and I need to state this one delicately, even religion is all about power, the ability to tell people to do something and they do it. Okay, and there are a lot of readers out there, a lot of followers of mine and of Matthew's, who look at their, take their religion very personally, and I am not gainsaying yeah, that, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the bulk of the world religions are driven by power, just like the governments are, unfortunately. If human nature was different, we could have a completely different social structure. But throughout history, this is the phenomenon. It's a hierarchical. There's one person at top. There's a few people below him, or mostly him, occasionally her. Mm -hmm. There's fewer people below that, and then there's the masses. Well, I can't thank you enough for talking about that. I mean, it was personal. It was, it was, it's true. You know, but you, so just not to, to let him move, how much, how much time left on the souffle? Oh, uh, souffle is uh, 20 minutes, so 20 keep minutes. stalling. Yeah, cool. Like so this, like this. Like oh, no, 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 no. Isn't this? Isn't well, this? that's the stretch. Yeah, stretch right. it out. This is wrap. This is kind of wrap it up. Wrap it oh, up. no. Then we're doing one of these. We're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're, like, we're making taffy. Is that what that is? Taffy? I guess. Sure. Or, yeah, or dough. Stretch it's a cook. dough. No, I, do, I would need no on you the uh, surface. Or in the kitchen aid to be perfect. Well, let's go, uh, you know, HOA's cooking and dining. Now, you've done a few of your own hangouts on air. Yeah, HOA. absolutely. And uh, you have this little skillet. So tell us a little bit about some of your own hangouts on air and your own ideas of what, what's coming, what you've done. Uh, so um, yeah. Eric McKee and I spent last year uh, holding uh, tr three a week and then yeah. two a week um, cooking weeks. school. Uh, yeah, you know, when we first started, we were very, very aggressive with the schedule, and we had a great time with it. We had some great people sign in. Um, we made some really, really good friends uh, in those hangouts. We had a we had a lot of fun with them. Um, you know, after the first of the year, we kind of refocused where we're going and everything. We sort of pulled back from the hangout specific, and we're currently in the midst of writing our own cookbook nice. in the form of our newsletter. And we do a, a uh, infrequently <laughs> kind of every Monday-ish newsletter. You do, yeah, you do. And we're actually about three weeks behind on right now. Um, but that newsletter is called The Skills. Mm -hmm. And Eric and I refer to it as not, not as a cookbook, but as a cooking book. Mm -hmm. Because it's not about the recipes. It's about the skills that you need to come here, stand here in the work triangle of your kitchen, and be successful. Um, so this is knife skills, this is, uh, this is sauce skills, this is, you know, how do you handle specific cuts of meats, how do you do things like that. Um, and, and that's really the thing that we want to be bringing to cooking. Not another collection of recipes. If I want a recipe, seriously, my first place to go to, allrecipes.com, and then I do two things. Uh, let's say I'm looking for a recipe for a uh, chicken casserole. Mm -hmm. Why I would ever cook one, I don't know, but <laughs> just theoretically. People like chicken casserole, though. Chicken, I mean, you know, just be with it. Go, go to allrecipes.com, yeah. right. search for whatever your dish is, sort them by user reviews, and then start at the top. It's kind of like Amazon for cooking. It is. Start at the top and read each one of these, and the very first one that doesn't include cream of chicken mushroom soup, <laughs> Go with that one. The very first one to have all natural ingredients and not out of a box, a bottle, or a can. Okay, go with that one. And I, I've never had to me yet. If those recipes have always Yeah, you must been have really a good. few that are your own personal. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. What is your, so what is one of your favorite things to make? Is, it, is there anything specific that you love cooking that you can't get excited about? Hot stickers. I love hot, hot stickers. stickers. Appetizers? Uh, appetizers is, um, I've just started... And I'm late to the game on this, but it's a huge game, and you can't cover all parts of it. I'm uh, I'm just coming into getting to pay attention to crostinis. Yeah, I mean, kind of, yeah. I love crostinis. Yeah. They're so good. I mean, they're probably, I mean, dumplings are hard to do. No. Well, I could, from scratch, I could do from dumplings scratch, in yeah. an hour right now. Yeah. Right now. You're I like, guarantee. I don't have it. Here, no, I could. I guarantee you. This is that pot, that noodle recipe that I was talking about, almost. Little, a few variations. Some uh, folding techniques and then a filling to go into the center of it. Nice. And, that's, and you know what? I've got the roast chicken right in there that would make what a is, great filling. 
So, wow. So you've ever made chicken dumplings before? Huh? Oh, I love wow. chicken and dumplings, and but that's different. You fry it. Well, that's different, okay? The dumplings that I'm talking about, the popstickers, are oriental dumplings. Right, I'm talking about that too. Okay, okay yeah, but I'm chicken making... and dumplings, that's a southern dish, and that's uh, that's uh, chicken thighs, breasts, chicken meat that has been reduced so that it's basically shredded, mm -hmm. and then put into essentially a gravy. Is what it, it's like a self-made gravy. And it's I hear gravy at Thanksgiving. So you make your own gravy and you product. say that like it's wrong? Huh? It's not, know. no. Oh, yeah. Um, walnut, uh, walnut sausage, cornbread dressing. Sausage? Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, it it's delicious. It's delicious. So um, going to G+, what is, so I probably asked you before, so what is your favorite part of G+, G plus? if it's Hangouts, that's cool, but if it's, is there something besides Hangouts? No, it's the, um, I, I like... I like so much of what G Plus is doing. I like the fact that it's like Twitter mm. in that, and, and before I get crucified here mm. for the third time tonight, let's just hear me <laughs> out. It's like Twitter in that I don't have to have your permission to hear what you're saying right. if you're saying it publicly. I just have to follow you. Right. Okay? Facebook. If I want to hear, then I've got to send you a request. Well, you have to now, say, yeah. yeah, but that subscribe, didn't, subscribe it. didn't come to Laughter G Plus, now did it? It didn't. It was a response. Yeah, so yeah, I believe yeah. in the responses. So I'll stick with the original if you don't mind. The original. I like all of it. But uh, so what? In what feature would you like to want to see integrated? Is it something related to cooking or something gaming? The Hangouts. No, the Hangouts. Um, the yeah. Hangouts are really, 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 really good. And really not there yet. Okay. What do you think is missing? Do you think it's the sound with, and the audio? With or? nothing but love for the yeah, for the yeah, Google yeah, team. Yeah. That's what any that may or may not be watching. Because you better be watching. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would like more control over my Hangouts. Mm -hmm. I would Moderator. like the ability Moderator. Moderator ability to not only mute but kick somebody who is being disruptive. Okay. And it's my Hangout. Why can't that kick somebody? And I know for the Hangouts in there, they don't actually let you try. They, there's a public option that you can't. I know. So. Why not? Hang on, on air or hang on hangout. Why can't I go you be gone? That too. Well, and so there was a big debate and you can, you can you know, block people and everyone can block them and then they're gone or something like that. But I think that that was a good thing. That if it, me it makes more seven, sense for Hangouts on Air, but, he, but it makes sense if, to if, if me and eight other people right. all have to go block somebody right. to get him, that's great. But guess what? He's still taking up a slot in my hangout. Right, right. And now I've got to, got to break out some sort of social engineering of insulting his mother or something to get him to go away. Right, right. That and I know they talked about, like, oh, everyone's going to start doing Hangouts. But that's kind of annoying to have to all right. expect anymore. Yeah, yeah. And absolutely. then the other issue is that, and that's the reason why people don't want to hang out publicly, and that's kind of taken away from public. They're like, right. well, it's too much work. It, it it's is. It's a, it's a pain in the butt. So uh, on the Internet, there have been forums and vid voice chats and even video chat chat roulette for decades now that have had this basic functionality that G Plus doesn't have. Right. Like, and I think it's more, guys. I don't think it's that they can't do it. I think it's more of a, they're debating about it. And I think they really, and I know For we're a all, year now? Get over I know, I know we're all, choices, I know. Go. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Well, they gave a choice. They're it's not choice. that I don't love you, Google Their guys, choice was that they don't want it. I mean, I think, and I think, I could see why. I think that maybe, maybe cake should only be, maybe cake should only be invoked when it goes public. Maybe that's what it should be invoked. Yeah. Nah, I should always. always I should together. always have the ability to control my own. But you're saying the person that started. So when the person that leaves it, then what happens? The person, the you have to give it to somebody, or it goes away. Oh, that's another issue that's been handled well, by. You know, you just you nominate like the the. The person started it, the next person in. You know, you do it first in, gets the leadership. I guess, but then it gets a little tricky, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, but this is I know, I know but that's what they think about. By other people. They think about all that stuff, like, okay, what happens it's then? It's all been what solved happens? by other people. Yeah, but ways. where else can you hang out with 10 people at once? Ignore the fact that we're talking video. Okay. Go with Ventrilo. Go with TeamSpeak. Go with any voice oh, chat. Okay. okay. Go with any standard IRC chat room, just text-based chat. This is all, all of these questions have been answered before. Mm -hmm. You don't have to reinvent the wheel just because you're putting video to it. Okay. You know? That makes sense. Uh, saying, when you think of Hangouts, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Um, you one, two, three, no. Well, I'm right after you. Uh, um, one, two, three, click, and I'm in a video conference with somebody. That is nothing less than transformative in how you do business. My family has started uh, about once every other week or so. We do a hangout with my dad in Austin, my sister, my dad in the Hill Country, so my sister in Austin. They do. 
only for these hangouts. They don't do anything else with them. My son in Virginia going to military school. And he's and going to, he wants to be in the Navy too? Or? Oh, he is in the Navy. He is. He's in the Navy. So proud of that guy. Yeah. Steve, love you, buddy, if you're on, if you're watching. Okay. Awesome, Steve. Yeah. Just be careful of those ports, I'm just saying. Yeah. Smells decent. Smells good. It smells like just smell the chocolate. Yeah. Can you guys smell the chocolate over there? But you cannot. And why are you so much taller? Are you on painter still? <laughs> there oh. is a ceiling fan over your head. Little you're little. a giant. I'd show you, but I died. You can't. You can't. Nice. She makes her shoes. Wow, those are hooker shoes. That's a nice shoes. legs you got there. Yeah. And a lot of pink. I got a hooker, man. Yeah, you can turn around if you want oh, to. Don't like, no. Anyway, there are ladies present. Uh, so what about you? Mentioned someone else before on G Plus. Love for your the guy that was doing it with you. The uh, Eric McKee. Yeah, Eric, Eric McKee. is. Um, him and I have known each other for over a decade. Okay. Uh, best friend in the world. He's a really, really great guy. He lives in Portland, Oregon. And you um, met him on G Plus, or no? Oh no, no, no. Yeah. Uh, we met him in a video game actually. Or the okay. <laughs> Uh, 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 you're trying to think of a video game? I'm trying to remember the name of it. Yeah, uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, we met video gaming and uh, have, you know, we've met each other many, 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 many times in real life. Hell, I lived on his couch for three months, Ooh. you know, at one time period. In Portland? Yeah, in Portland. Nice. I love Portland. Portland's great. Just yeah. no Eric jobs Rice there. Eric Rice there. Oh, is there jobs there? Okay. They're not for my, my line of work, no. Now, is your line of work cooking, or you also do other? You do something else? It'll be cooking one of these days sooner or later, but uh, for real money, it's IT project management. Okay. Yeah. And so what does that consist of for you? I mean, you're just... Being really, really, really good with computers and organizing other people and telling them what to do and going home. Are early. you... Do you work for a company? Do you work for yourself? Um, a private contractor right now, uh, okay. between projects yeah. as it is. So, you know, that's all right. That's cool. Yeah. Baby, um, can I get these put away for That was really good. Was Allison, good? Allison Poos of the Sammy made that for her delicious. husband. Well, thank yeah. you very much. Delicious. She made it into a juice. Sure. It was a delicious sandwich. You're going to have a G in there. Watch the cord right there. Awesome. That's, so, uh, is there anyone else on G+, that you think deserves love? A chef? I mean, there are a lot of chefs. Oh, as chef, uh, yeah, there's, you know, there are some really, really good chefs on G+, but the thing that I have, I have volunteered to um, Natalie Villarobos. 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 Yeah. Villarobos. Robin um, is her evil twin sister. Oh, is it? Talk about much. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> she might be the party girl. Who knows? Wow. Anyway, um, I have volunteered for Natalie on several occasions. And what I would love to do, what's the strongest professional presence on G+. Me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Don't you have alcohol to drink over there somewhere? <laughs> I had an outburst. Well, dog it all off. We'd show you the outburst, but you heard it. So, <laughs> with enough, kids? Yeah. Okay, professional. It's strongest? Yeah, who's... Who's like the biggest that you see? It's this share Friday, and it's this. It's the photographers. Oh yeah, you all. Oh, I think that's something very specific. Okay, you no, the photographers. They have a huge presence. They are huge. Yeah. There was a photography conference hosted by Google. Oh yeah, there's been a um, bunch. There's been a lot of photo walks. We had one in New York. We had right. Trey had his and stuff and stuff. Well, cool. I want cooking to have that kind of look. I want. Why doesn't it? All things to have that kind of cooking. No, just music. cooking. Yeah, like just cooking. Just cooking. Film, music. Yeah, no, that's okay. Nah, screw the film. Just Although, cooking. screw the film. Well, yeah. you're film about cooking. Well, look, you're here. I'm giving you this love. Oh, no, I know. I love oh, it. You're all giving you. love. Thank you very, very much. Oh, my God. I can't wait to taste the chocolate souffle. Uh, about another seven minutes. Yeah. Seven minutes in heaven. Yeah. I still like to play. And, uh... I don't know why I looked over there. I don't. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing exists behind the camera as far as I'm camera. concerned right now. Uh, so, cat pics, dog pics, animated gifts, feelings, love, hate. Okay. So, so. I'm not a cat fan. Yeah. I, I don't ever like to see any animal hurt or injured, mm -hmm. but I am far and away a dog fan, way more than ever cats in any way, shape, or form. Cats. Um, and so how do you feel about seeing any of that stuff in your stream? Like, is it is it like what do you, when you look at your stream? Like, are you specifically looking for cooking? Do you just want to be entertained? You know, just a little bit of entertained. I spend a lot of time on uh, Reddit. Right. Yes. Okay, so Reddit's a good one for just here's a whole bunch of. Do you random post? Or you just kind of look. I post also. Yeah. I do. Uh, post uh, all it's kinds of stuff. It's amazing because I because I grew up like did was the big one. Yeah. And then stumbled upon was there and read about this tiny little thing that people weren't using. And, and those other two are, yeah. Well, yeah now the Dig is no longer, Stumble is still fairly cool. When I've read everything on Reddit that's in all of the things I subscribe to, I'll switch over to Stumble upon and, right. and randomly do. 
But, but um, I mean, is that? Would you rather spend time doing that than looking at your plush fan? Is there more interesting stuff up there? Um, it depends upon what I'm looking for. Um, partly why I go outside of G plus is specifically for that to get outside of G plus, find some of that good stuff, and occasionally bring it in. Um, also. You know, at the end of a long day, when I'm looking to, you know, I just need to decompress my brain for a little bit. You don't want to think about who's posting. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's G+. I don't care if it's Stumble. I don't care if it's Reddit. I don't care if it's Dig. Just, okay, computer, internet, entertain me for a few minutes. Let me let me just chill. Now, wouldn't it be great? Now, there is voice activation. Wouldn't it be great? Is that your habit? Do you just be like, this is what I want. It knows what you want. No, no that'd be scary. Negative. Would that would be completely scary. It's kind of the operation. That would be completely scary. <laughs> that would be completely <laughs> scary. Okay. I'm very familiar with incognito browsing. Thank you very much. And uh, tour <laughs> uh, onion layer routers and, uh, uh, you know, all of... the Navy, maybe. Uh, no, no, just my... Not. Well, the Navy was kind of the... The, the impetus for it. Once I got out of the Navy, mm. there aren't that many corporations that have cruise missile launchers no, on not, their not corporate somebody. headquarters. Somebody. I mean, if I ever become an evil millionaire, I'll, I'll have a Would you have somewhere. an underground layer and all that? You know what I want? Black helicopters. Well, because yeah. because that is the sign you have made it as an evil genius. When you have your own black... Not a, light, not a layer? It has to be a black helicopter? Black helicopter. Not a cat? What about no. Think about any action adventure movie where the good guy stumbles upon a secret, finds the treasure. What's the next thing that happens? The it's, no, it's the black helicopters from the bad guys coming in. I want those black helicopters. Nice. I do. All right. Right. I so do you have a favorite villain or a doctor besides the Doctor Evil? Do you have this old school? Or uh, you know, uh, Doctor Evil. Uh, you know. Uh, that yeah. Dr. Horrible single on blog was hilarious. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Are you making a single thing? What about, is it a Jane Bond villain, or is it someone that's being Well, if you're thinking villain, the classics are always the Jane Bond, the James right. Bond's right. ones. You know, there was Dr. No, there was Goldfinger, you know, there was... Quincy oh, Jones. You know. <laughs> or not, Grace Jones. You didn't say that. Um, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> I can what else? Quincy, Grace, what? <laughs> uh, right oh. to the trachea. Right to the trachea. Um, it's a joke because you're supposed to take a lot of the deck. You know what? You know the guy who did real life, a little bit of trivia, and I don't remember this guy's name. I think it was Moffat, but I could be wrong. The one guy who did more damage than than anybody else. And the scary part is he was really trying to help out. This was a uh, an industrial chemist slash engineer at the turn of the century when the Model Ts and the initial um, cars were just becoming really popular, right. cars had a huge problem with what was called knock, where unburnt, if, I, if, if you're a gearhead, forgive me <laughs> while I try to stumble my way through this. They're like, you're un, doing it wrong. Uncombusted gasoline would build up in the, in the uh, heads and the cylinders, and then all of a sudden it would all detonate at once, and it could damage, physically damage the engine, Plus, it was that backfire that you see on the old Model Ts. Well, this guy invented this really neat gasoline that completely eliminated knock. It was leaded gasoline. And he found that if you liquefied a little bit of lead, which is highly, highly, highly poisonous, yes. never leaves your system, and does not decay in the environment. And he determined that if you put a few drops of, of uh, treated lead per gallon of liquid gas, you eliminated the knock. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Um, all of the big gas companies at the time jumped on board and swore up and down that this was completely safe and completely healthy and all this other stuff. Mm. Background lead levels in the United States and eventually in the world went up by over a thousand percent in the next three decades. Wow. And that maintained until the late 70s, early 80s, when unleaded gas really started to become popular. Okay, so all this lead that's in the environment, which is highly poisonous and it causes very aggressive behaviors, very psychotic behaviors, this guy is responsible. But he wasn't done, because the next thing that he invented was fluorocarbons, which caused problems with the ozone layer. Yeah, and he's just like this walking ball of ecological disaster. And I don't remember his name, so maybe somebody can do a Google search for the guy who invented ethyl gasoline. His name will be at the top of that list. Do we use ethyl that. gasoline? Not anymore, we don't. No, it's all done. unleaded now. It's all unleaded, okay. It's all unleaded. But it used to be all leaded gas was the, was the standard. He did a ton of damage, and he didn't know he was doing it. You know? 
Yeah. Can you know he's doing? Speaking of damage, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. I mean, yeah. you. Uh, when you say you use it. I mean, you still have it. Do you use it less than G plus? Use it the same mm-hmm. more? I mean, how does he still use? Do you use for for being amazingly technologically savvy. I mean, I've been in the IT field okay. for twenty years you had now. Choice. I, I'm not a huge tremendous. I don't really go out of my way for social media. Art. So Uh oh. Press the change. Okay. So before I pull this out, because this is a really challenging um, dish, in spite of how easily it goes together, Julia Child, who is my hero. Julia Child. Julia Child. Julia Child. Baby. Do bonjour. Bonjour. There we go. Oh my God! I okay. go to Julia Child. It's drinking in our apartment. <laughs> Julia, Julia made a comment. She said, "Never, never apologize for your food because it's always going to be tasty." I don't know what I haven't tasty. looked at these souffles in 35 minutes. I have no clue what it I'm about ready. It smells amazing. It smells That's good. That's enough. Okay. Oh, now can we do a camera thing or no? You're like, yeah. sure. Bring the camera over. Now here. we bring it over. It, this is going to be like when Geraldo opened up. Uh, whose was it? Tomb. Oh, oh, Capone's oh, tomb. Oh, yeah, this might be completely, you. you know, flat. I don't. They're know. like, you want to stay off camera. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. That's a leg breaker. Oh, right there. Watch the vino. You can break up. Okay. I can break a whole heart. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of the oven. I'm going to go right over here on the. All right, this Lee Allison. This is me. Ah. All right. There it is. There it is. Look at that souffle. The voice you're hearing is neither mine nor Lee's, but the voice of Allison Allison. Oh, can you get closer? Geez. How close can we get? All right. Watch yourself right here. Let's see. Strawberry. Let me bring them to you. Because oh, these came those out. look delicious. If you haven't, if you stopped tuning in, you made a mistake. Because now we got a finished product. No one likes finished products. Like okay. That. Now, we're looking at these, and it's a fairly mild dome. If this had been a true souffle, if I had cooked it outside of the water bath, if you take a look, if you Matthew zoom in on this right, like right over here, see how cracked this is right here, and how this one edge is is raised up right through here. That's a souffle would have violently risen up to like two inches above, but the water bath really mellowed these out, and these really these really settled in quite a bit. So I am super okay. super happy with how these turned out. All right. So our next trick, if the ladies are done making fun, is to get these out and let them cool for just a couple of minutes, and then I'm going to dust them with a little bit of powdered sugar, dress them with a strawberry, and we're going to eat in about five minutes. Strawberry, and that's when we'll do it at Conversations Plus. We'll get a yeah. bunch of you in here, and uh, we'll do some more eating and drinking and spitzing and spotting. And that sounds like spotting. That sounds like McClunting and... By the way, if you're black, I love you. That was not a Schwarza joke. Okay. Wow, really? Well, really? Because, well, like, you know, the, the color of the chocolate. It's what? chocolate. That's all okay, it means. you're cut off. All right, mount off. that thing back over there. Wow, that's what she said. Don't mount in the presence of Leslie. Uh-oh. Yeah. Is Leslie here? He's no. coming over. Now, when yeah. you say Leslie, we're not talking about Leslie Nielsen because he's dead. Yes. My <laughs> Tell him your favorite. Oh, okay. God. My absolute favorite when Leslie Nielsen passed away last year, or the year before, was it? I think so, yes. That one. Oh, you can see all of our coats over there, Matthew. Thank you very much. What did I, did I, is the camera angle wrong? No, it's fine, it's fine. It's good. All right, I like coats. Coats and chocolate. All right, we need to raise it up just a little bit. You raised me up? I can't see more than <laughs> There we go. Seymour Phillips coats. All right. Um, anyway, when he uh, passed, there was a uh, thread that I saw on the Internet that was talking about... Uh, what did that thread said? It was talking about the favorite quotes from Frank Drubin of uh, Police Academy fame. Police Squad. Uh, Police say. Squad. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. You're Academy cut is, now you're cut off. No, Academy is... It's, that's Steve That's Steve Gutenberg. Gutenberg. Yeah. And, and yeah. Okay. Uh, the favorite quote, the all-time, my all-time favorite, was uh, from, I think, the second movie. And he said... He was doing a voiceover going into a scene. He said... Like a midget at a urinal, I was going to have to stay on my toes. <laughs> and I just thought that was so I, I mean, obviously, I would think something like, surely you can't be serious. Yep, that's a great one. What? What about the little person? What? about the little person? Little people, we love you, especially that English dude. He does one. Oh, list. Game of Thrones. You watch, right? I do watch. I'm behind with it. Why? I'm because I'm so busy doing this. Well, you know, not. Right? Wow, thanks, Drama Queen. Wow. So. <laughs> 
I can't wait to taste this soup play. Well, Hill. I get that all the time. Yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> all right, this show is rated R for Rappaport. I hope you're enjoying it. Rated R for weird. Weird. Beard. Uh, so you do use Facebook and Twitter. So yeah, I do. I do use them. I just don't. I'm not aggressive on them. You're not an aggressive. You know, I, I will go to G Plus and post on G Plus uh, in half a minute before I would ever post on either. either All right. Of so now you're in love. Now that people love you. So now we have souffle or chocolate. So this, this is so a should we call cake. it? We call it chocolate cake. Or we call it souffle. We call it both. <laughs> The only difference between this and a true souffle was the water bath that it was cooked in. Okay. Other than that, it's the exact same thing. Soup to nuts. Everything's identical. Now, do we, now you're talk, we're talking about whipped cream and strawberries or just strawberries? Just or a straight up strawberry, and then I'm going to toast it with a little bit of uh, powdered sugar, okay. which I'll have to dig out of the upper cabinet because I don't use a lot of powdered sugar. Mm, yeah, you don't use too much sugar. Yeah, a little bit of sugar. Let's see. What do we got? Now, do you think, should we leave one without that? Should, I mean, do you think it'll taste different without it? Better? Worse? Just, just dressing. It's just dressing. Really? Look at that. That wasn't completely painful, was it? That was pounding. No, it's great. So is there a G-plus story that comes to mind that you just, like, uh, it just blows you away? Something that happens? Something? Um, there is some the people. The, like you, you know, like uh, like Tiffany, and like, uh, you know, Peter, and all these other folks that I've met. I just, right. You know, I love the people. Uh, I've, I've just always felt super comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. um, these are a really good group of people. I have yet, and I, I know they exist. You've yet to meet don't. someone that was uh, an a-hole. Right. I have yet to meet somebody that I felt was out trying to take advantage of. Me. And I know they're out there. Hey, hey. No, it's fine. I felt bad. I didn't try. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to... Bang, bang, bang. Can you see that? Oh, they can see the dusting here. It's all right. This is not real sugar. It's not real cocaine. No, I love the cocaine. No, this is just powder Listen, sugar. Listen, as a filmmaker who likes lots of movies, lots of directors like leaving Tarantino, how can you not just pretend as a filmmaker because they use sugar for cocaine all the they time? Use they use so sugar. why not? Why not? Uh, I wonder, do they have to actually snort the sugar then? Yeah. Or so is that that's dangerous to snort sugar or not? Mm, apparently not. There's a mixture that they can do. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know everything that's in it. Maybe if one Maybe of our film buffs is watching, they can add yeah. in the comments. Um, but Talk no. a little bit, yeah, do you know a little bit about some of that stuff? Uh, I know, you know, a little drug. bit, but I used to be a professional okay. photographer, so, you know, I've, I've played with it. Are uh, there any tips you day. have? Let's see, the strawberries, can we get them into the camera? Yeah. Go this way. Yeah. It's it's a beautiful, beautiful. beautiful time of the year to be getting any kind of fresh produce, oh, like strawberries. I had or strawberries this morning, yeah. Love them. Is there, now, can, is there any tip to how you like to prepare your strawberries, cutting them, or? Uh, yeah, use a knife. Yeah, that's a, that's a plus. Yeah, as opposed to, you know, a spoon or whatever. I like to just eat it off the leaf. Just yeah, off the leaf. Yeah. Oh, the sand, the leaf, we've oh, the seen, screen. We've seen Leslie. Yeah, and Leslie will never show up. Leslie's busy. Leslie's on the roof in a smoking jacket. Why do I think Leslie really exists? Oh, yeah. He's wearing a smoking jacket. Have you had sex with Leslie? <laughs> Pardon? Have you had sex with Leslie by any chance? Before you were married. I mean. I'm married! I'm talking before. Well, Leslie, this is your whole life, right? All right, never mind. All right. I, no, the question is freaking from the record. Leslie doesn't like to touch it appropriately. No, <laughs> un unfortunately. <laughs> Leslie's life is, is bad. <laughs> so putting the strawberries on the souffle. Enjoy that. We're gonna, are we'll you be back with you folks here in just a second. Yeah, just a second. Fireball. A fireball. No, but it's been a fun time. It's been a good show. Oh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It does look, it smells so nice. How hot is this? Really hot? Yeah, they're pretty hot. You, you tell me. Yeah, it's hot. I don't know if I need a glove. You're like, please don't present. Do you want to be yeah, no, yeah, these look gorgeous. I'm very proud of these. Why not just do both? Because that's more fun. Let's see if I can create the, use the mouse. No, I can't. So, as you can see, I've got my big hands. Hey, Eileen McAllister, how are you? <laughs> it's like, uh oh. Or Lee Allison will show you. Straight up, there we go, chocolate. There's our presentation right there. Now, so how long in total would you say it took to make? Uh, an hour. Hey, that's enough out of you over there. Uh, no, not even an hour. Uh, the yeah. cooking time on this was uh, yeah. 30, 35 minutes. The prep time was 
15 And how much alcohol did we get down? To about not enough. Not, not enough, as much right? as, I mean, we're not done yet. Even no. if we hang up right now, we're not done. Fireball, yeah. So. And the first one goes to Allison Ellison. Always. And we yes. can't even watch. No. Now, Chef Lee Allison walked over to Allison Allison to oh, deliver I'm that always, the package. Always willing to serve that. That Bruiser wants to eat really badly. Yeah, it's probably going to be burning hot. Sure. Well, last time Bruiser had chocolate, he went to the back. Chocolate? Yes. That's a no no. Yeah. Don't feed your dogs anything like chocolate, onion, garlic, bad. Don't do that. Alright. Okay, sorry. Oh, sure. Oh, my. Ah. Let me just hold that in your hand. Ah. <laughs> so are, you, are, you, are you saying that it's good? There you go. No, I inhaled Wait. the powder. You inhaled the Coke? Okay. So oh we will start with the uh, oh strawberry, my. but I will wait to toast you, oh strawberry. Man. Should we toast the strawberry? Sure. Is I was trying to put that between my thumb and finger, and that's not going to work. Put it right on. Okay, with the strawberry? There you go, sir. All right, there it is. Well, I'm thinking that before we dig in, how long does it take before it gets cold? Like five minutes, ten? If it gets cold, you haven't eaten it correctly. Yeah. It's because I wanted Why to are go, you even asking that question? Because I want to go into conversation plus and get more people in here while we're eating. Okay, good. Not for eat it. at all. So, I can't thank you enough for being part of the show. Oh, my. We I'm kind of amazing, impressing myself here. Amazing. As I put the stool, there we go. This is like an adulterated souffle. It's really tasty. It's Very amazing. chocolatey. It's mm -hmm. like halfway between pudding and an actual cake. I love my strawberry. Mm -hmm. We're putting right. me on. Uh, oh my god! I just inhaled the powder <laughs> sugar too. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> inhale. We're, now we're saying that food porn and food drugs. Those are good. Absolutely. Uh, so thank you so much, Lee Allison. We're going to do Conversations Plus, but if you only watch this part, why didn't you watch the next part? Because we didn't do it yet, but it's probably going to be pretty freaking amazing. We might have some fun. We might be so uh -huh. drunk out of our minds or so so it's over with, with chocolate in our mouth that you might want to watch. It's kind of chocolatey. It's kind of good. It's chocolatey goodness. Yeah, it is. Shelly Guinness, everybody. Thanks for everyone for watching here in Conversations. Uh, I might have guitarist Manny James next week. We'll have to see. Rodney Pike, Matt Gibson, a lot of guitar, a lot of art. Mel Gibson? Mel Gibson will not be on. He does not like my people for some reason. I don't know what we did that. to him. I've heard that. Are you all ever going to give him a break on that? Never. Okay. Uh, I mean, he's had what? many. He has I'm many breaks. Always a Jew. Anyway, that's neither here nor Braveheart. But so, there you go. thanks for watching. Uh, Conversations Plus coming up shortly. And uh, go get yourself a drink to drink. Your own right. snack. Go get a drink. Chocolate. Don't forget. Maybe Social skill. Maybe I can show next time. You should be. You have every show. opportunity to make it up there. No, not tonight. Right. I don't want to share a spotlight with nobody. <laughs> no. Well, then zip it. Somebody said it's going to not enough fireballs. Because if she had enough fireballs, she'd be sleeping. All right, don't forget, wow. folks, www.thesocialskillet.com. Yes. i got to plug that. Um, we're currently in the midst of doing our newsletter Ooh, slash um, cookbook. Ooh, cooking book. So, yes, that is facebook.com, and you're going to use some hangouts on air and prompt you or cooking. Absolutely, or? always. Oh, uh, Friday evenings, um, uh, usually regularly I do a beer hangout. I've taken over temporarily for Adam <laughs> Hudak who is taking care of some family business. So follow my stream if you like craft beers. We're just cracking them open, talking about them. And uh, hold on for one second. Okay. And just having a good time. All right. <laughs> I'm frozen. Your computer's not buffering. Wow, I actually kind of looked like I was frozen, right? You did. Still. But this, these are that things. is skillful. Mm -hmm. Take a spoon. No, but I want to wait until... Okay, so I'm going to... If Come you on, want to actually see me eat... Shot. Yeah, okay, would I actually want to see you eat some of this? What, do you think I'm poisoning you or something? No, but Don't I wanted to eat in a conversation's plus because I'm going to stick around. Do it. Do it. No peer pressure here at the Allison household. Mm. <laughs> it's like I had... Okay, I can't... It's not safe for this hangout, but I would <laughs> say... It's like a chocolate eel. I mean, uh, and I mean, it was amazing. Though. That was that was so great. That was so great. All right, folks. We're thank take you very much. We're gonna a little break, and then we'll be back to just mess around um, with the chocolate. I mean, and the other stuff. Good night. And uh, I can't uh, cut seriously. You enough. Yes. Seriously. Yes, but that's funny to end it like that because then they're like, that's a that's a highly honed precision instrument. Would you please get your mitts off? Please put the knife down. No. All right. Good night.